1,200 victories here for Gino Oriema, Tara Van de Veer, Mike Krzyzewski, and now Gino Oriema. When it's all said and done, pretty good chance he's going to end up atop that list. Yeah. But as he said in his discussion with Chelsea a few minutes ago, it's what he has created yeah. at UConn that really, Kara, uh, jumps out at him. Yeah, 100%. He'll never take credit for whatever as far as how many wins. He really thinks it's the national championships that mean more than that. But even more than that is what he's created at UConn with a culture of a family. You know, we've said it before, once a Husky, always a Husky. And it started from nothing and grew to this. So he can really appreciate it. The kids nowadays, they come in and that's all they know is the banners and UConn. Well, it took a while to get there, right? You didn't see the work it took to get there. And Gino knows what it was like playing in the field house with the rain dripping down and a bucket and like right. old school and what he's created not only on the court but for the game of women's basketball and for the alumni for that family of UConn players that's pretty significant it, it is and and what do you put into the fact that Tara did it at three schools I think yeah. it was Idaho and then Ohio State and then Stanford, and you look at a guy like Mike Krzyzewski, most of his career was at Duke, but before that he was at uh, West Point, and yeah. so two schools. Gino has done it all at UConn. Does that add to the significance? I think it does. I think it adds to that, and he's done it the quickest, but being at one school and the loyalty, he is such a loyal person to his program to his school to his players he would if I called him right now and needed something well maybe not me but Diana Taurasi or super uh, <laughs> he'd, be, he'd be there for you Kara we know you that. know he's one of those people that will always be in your life and he's just very loyal so it's not surprising it was all at one university and that's pretty remarkable especially in this day and age I feel like people kind of move around I don't know if you'll see that in the future because that's pretty impressive it is impressive so a good night for Gino when it's all said and done and for the Huskies who are now uh, on the season 20 and 4 and 12 and 0 in the Big East